welcome once again so today we will see example 3 here we will see mill and drill using the can cycle so as you know the can cycle is used to drill multiple holes and we will mill the all the sides so before going that let's have some property about the you know, workpiece and tools we are going to use so as you see here add register part uh, add register part 1 10 10 as we know we can check it uh, from the directory from the inventory storage we can check the what is the size of part 1 and then we are going to use tool t1 and then next tool embedded tool 06 so we will see the, uh, these two, two uh, tools okay t1 and t8 06 and register part 1 so inventory browser and mill workpiece so this one is 160 90 10 we can okay and as you see here it is 10 10 it means we have set the uh, workpiece 10 mm from this side see this from x axis we have shifted that is why it this 10 okay this 10 and again from this one is y axis so we have again shifted 10 mm distance so for this day if you want to shift z axis also then you can write okay uh, so workpiece will be off from the table at some distance whatever distance you will write third digit third place say for example you are writing five then workpiece will be at the height of five mm from the table okay so now you know how you are going to set it okay so as you know, see workpiece size is 160 by 90 by 10 we will insert this value and then tools uh, i told you that we are going to use check t1 tools so t1 tools is this one is our t1 tool so it is having the mill diameter t1 mill diameter uh, diameter 5 length 30 and then milling tools that is embedded milling tools so we are going to use here et06 so this one this one mill diameter 60 uh, okay 80 6 mill diameter 16 to length 50 okay just remember these values okay we are going to so we can you know add the values for the material size material size That is 160 90 by 10. Okay. And then we can also add T01 that is having the diameter 5 D 5. Okay. And length 30 mm. Okay. Then again. Uh, et 6 that is having the mill diameter d 16 and length 50 okay so why uh, i am going to I, I am mentioning here because i have to check the values different like diameter length uh, from time to time so <coughs> we are here we go to write the program so what we are going to do we are going to set the first thing take our origin this one machine origin okay and we are going to shift this origin to this one then we will call it programming origin so that's why you see here 10 no, no this 10 you see here this one and from see this this value you see here 10 and this one okay and whatever value you are writing here with g92 as you know g21 is used to the use the dimension strictly in the mm so g92 we are writing so we are shifting the coordinate value you can check it see g as we write zero offset so we are setting this zero value to here so what is the coordinate value respective to this from the here 10 from here 10 and this height is 10 so that that's why we are writing x10 y10 and z10 
okay now by writing this line syntax uh, we have shifted our this machine origin to a new origin, uh, position that is our programming origin and from with respect to programming origin we will uh, do all the dimensioning okay then we will set our tool m06 uh, we can place anywhere m06 t1 or t1 m06 we can write anywhere there is no issue okay since the yeah, all line yeah, complete line is executed next after this one we will, we are going to uh, at this position tool number one has been selected then we will set the tool to go, quickly go to x minus 5 so let me turn on the position uh, let me hide the machine then tool holder then feed and traverse and limit so you see uh, this one 10 this one 10 and this side 10 so our, as you see another cross here this is our programming origin so now writing this command g0 if we have to go this way then tool we have to set the tool somewhere here along this sides in the plane of this side okay so x minus 5 because this one is x0 so x minus 5 tool will be here somewhere here okay x minus 5 and then y minus 1.5 this one is one direction so what is the ready uh, tool diameter t1 that is as you know tool diameter 5 okay what is the radius of tool 2.5 okay and it means when we are shifting the tool axis by 1.5 mm negative direction it means we are going to cut only 1 mm okay then z0 it means this one is tool is here at the uh, on the top surface on the plane of top surface okay then we will shift the tool downward so that we can cut the all the um, complete side okay uh, we can cut is material from this surface completely so that's why next we are going to take the tool downward direction by using z minus 10 so tool tip will shift at z minus 10 distance we cannot go beyond that okay next g01 uh, this one g01 then we are going as you know what is the distance 160 and we have to cut 1 mm from all the sides so that's why if tool radius is 160 uh, 2.5 mm then tool will cross if we uh, because we have to cut 1 mm from this side also all the sides so we have to engage tool only 1 mm so radius of the tool is 2.5 so we have to take 1.5 mm more that's why 161.5 okay then we are writing as this value and as thousand we are starting the spindle then by m03 clockwise spindle starts then we are going to fit write the fit value we can omit also but it is okay to give some fit value then again as we are taking the consideration of you know, tool radius and one material cut we are going to cut so next this length is 90 tool is having the radius of 2.5 we have to cut 1 mm so we will take 1.5 mm more that's why y95 then this one g01 it is not 0 g01 x minus 1.5 so again we will take uh, from this direction this one is 160 this value is 
x0 so we will move to our more 1.5 in negative x so that only 1 mm is engaged with the workpiece and then y1 minus 5 we will cross it we can increase it y2 or y5 we can change the value there is no issue so we can write 2 minus 2.5 or 5 also there is no issue okay okay then we will take the quickly g0 we will take out the tool quickly at top and then we will go for the can cycle then we will change the tool by you writing the command etg06 m06 tool change then we will start the spindle clockwise feed and spindle speed then we will set the first position j00 x30 y25 z2 so tool is set somewhere here at the from this x30 here y25 and z2 at the height of 2 mm then we are going to start can cycle so in can cycle we have to write you see here generic drilling boring tapping cycle syntax is like g81 x coordinate value y coordinate value z value and retract value it means oh, x y is for coordinate value z is oh, x y is coordinate value z is how much you are going to drill the hole and then retract value it means at the top surface how much you are going to pull the tool that is called retract value so we are going to again although this we can omit this one because m m03 and we can turn on the coolant m08 okay okay then we have to give only coordinate value to will automatically use go and on that position because that is the property of can cycle to will go automatically so I am going to write x50, x70. These are the tool will move along this line, and then after this tool will I will change the y coordinate value. So at y tool will move somewhere y80, y65. It will drill, and then again I am going to shift the tool in this way, so it will change. Then at the end you have to <coughs> uh, you have to cancel the uh, coordinate value. Oh, can cycle by using G80. Then G01 after cancelling, you can retract the tool at Z50. Then you can move it, although it is not necessary. Okay, you can retract it Z100 M05, and you have to turn on coolant. Turn off coolant. Okay, M05 spindle stop coolant off and then program end of the program so we are going to see them one by one <clears throat> okay so uh, here see this we are going to execute after this this part has been loaded then tool specification okay programmer name then program number then g21 x5 uh, dimension name g92 Shift origin has been shifted x10, y10, z10. That is at the this point. You can check once uh, this uh, this line is executed, origin will come here. See this, okay? It is okay. Then tool is loaded. Once this syntax is executed, this line tool will be loaded, okay? Uh, okay, tool is loaded. Next, uh, next is I am going to set the tool. Uh, at x minus five, y minus one point five, z is equal to zero. See this. Okay, why? Uh, because G0 command, that's why it came very fast. At, this is called, that's why rapid motion. Okay, then tool will set uh, by once we execute this command. 
tool will go downward okay next line tool is set to move along this line okay so see this see tool is tool has moved because tool center is this one is axis of the tool so it is uh, 1.5 mm beyond this side that's why only 1 mm is this tool side 1 mm uh, of the tool is engaged okay next so y91.5 tool has moved then tool move at the position of x minus 1.5 okay next z uh, y minus 5 see tool has crossed y minus 5 then tool will come at the height of z is equal to 5 next one see that this one g0 z1 tool quickly came off then we are going to change the tool by it is by next tool tool number et06 that is okay now tool has set what is the distance between tool and workpiece that is location of, of the tool is at the x30 y25 and z2 so tool is 2 mm at off distance see this this one distance is 2, two mm this coordinate value from y axis it is x30 from here x axis along y direction it is y25 and z2 is that is high that is uh, off from the top surface now we are going to use can cycle g81 as you have known you have to write z1 coordinate value then retract value how much we are going to retract and then yeah. I, we are also turning on coolant no. we are turning on coolant two, way, two places but it is okay we did we didn't need to write this value okay r1 r1 is retract value. after drilling it will because this is the property of the g81 so you have to give only coordinate value once the drill has been done then you have to cancel it okay so next see this one this command has been executed and one drill we have got you can check it let me hide the tool okay and if you want to see really there is a let me hide that see this okay so tool and table okay next next tool will move at, because I am not changing the y position so tool will move along x direction ok it will drill hole then x70 then next command it will drill at 90 x90 then in next command it will drill at this value x110 then x130 then now i am going to change the y value so tool will move along y direction at, at y65 and it will drill hole then again i am going to change the this x y is fixed so i am going to change the whole uh, x position so x 110 then x 90 then x 70 then x 50 then x 30 okay so here we are now again i want to drill another hole here so i have to change only coordinate value if you want to drill further hole you can give only the x value it is very easy to give the coordinate value and drill will be completed so i am going to uh, this one y45 okay now 
uh, we have to cancel G the can cycle by GAT then we will set G00 Z tool will at the height of 100 machine stop spindle stop coolant off okay machine stop and reset all the value now we have completed this pro part program okay so here what we have done let me hide the table and to we have drilled this one okay thank you very much